Alman is a true visionary. When the USC story is told in the future, Alman and his wife Claude will have a very special place in the Trojan family. The Alfredman Institute for Biomedical Engineering will stand tall as an everlasting legacy that made a difference in people's lives. Alman is an icon in the medical device technology arena. He has single-handedly revolutionized the field. Alfred Mann got his start as an electro-optical physics scientist. Over the next half century, he's founded and led more than a dozen companies. Among his crowning achievements, the institutes that bear his name. Specifically, and most proudly, the Alfred E. Mann Institute at the University of Southern California, which provides young inventors the stepping stones for becoming entrepreneurs. This is a man who began his business career at age five with a lemonade stand. From there, he became an innovator, an industry leader in biomedical technology. And of course, one of the world's greatest philanthropists. The Alfred Mann Institute is a model example of uh, commercializing uh, university research in the area of biomedical engineering and takes uh, part of the research that is done at the university and tries to uh, commercialize it in the marketplace. Pacemakers, uh, neurostimulators, cochlear implants. He has supported tremendously the work that we do through uh, our own Mark Humayun in the area of artificial uh, retina and prosthetic devices. And the whole field of prosthetic devices owes a lot to uh, Al's ingenuity and vision. The device that, that we have here is the Nanopulse device. Uh, Professor Gunderson at Viterbi is working in pulse power and had the idea that a pulsed delivery of electrical energy might be used for medical conditions. We, we, we believe and we've seen efficacy that we can remove lesions uh, without surgery, without scarring, and without any change in pigment. So this could be a very benign treatment for a lot of skin conditions. The Alfred Mann Institute specializes in helping USC inventors transition into entrepreneurs. In this rather plain looking tube, there are 20 million unique compounds. And it turns out that one of them can function just as well, if not better in certain contexts, as the best breast cancer therapeutic out on the market today. And they really helped us uh, take the next step in, in terms of figuring out what would be how we could market it, how we could talk to companies, how we could talk to venture capitalists, and you know, what to do and to raise money, and, and those sorts of things that as a scientist, we haven't had to think about. But as a business person, we have to. It makes a tremendous difference as an entrepreneur. For one thing, it helps me keep my cash at an absolute minimum, so our burn rate's relatively low. So we really can help leverage the technologies that we have and help build the organization to the point where we can get the necessary funding to do the things that we need to do, and for us specifically, conduct clinical studies in our novel biotherapeutics. The last thing that I know he has been working on, the uh, inhaler for insulin. Uh, this will change the medical regimen for diabetics globally. Alfred Mann's legacy is the determination and the technique for successfully developing new medical products. The products are extremely valuable to the patients that use them and Al is an example of someone who has taken all the risks and done it right. He loves football. Uh, comes to most of the football games. Him and his wife are extremely energetic. He actually got some of his degrees at another university, which is west of, west of here, and we're very happy that he elected to uh, affiliate and, and uh, uh, couple the rest of his life with USA. Claude, I'm so pleased that you are there with Al, because I know you will never let him write a check to UCLA. Ha, 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 ha.